Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasha. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. For today's video, we're doing something really exciting and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys really cheap IKEA items that will make your home look more expensive. These are all really great items that you can get from Ikea that will really make your place look a little bit more luxury. Definitely make it look like you spent a lot more money on these pieces than you did. And I think they're really great pieces to have in your either home or apartment. These are all pieces that I'm recommending that I have personally owned. So whether or not that I have them now or I've owned them in the past, these are all things that have been in my possession at one point or another that I think are amazing and that I think are really great quality and have really lasted for me because there are certain items from Ikea that I've purchased before and they didn't last for a really long time. So I definitely want to recommend things that will last a really long time that are very durable, that look expensive and that are also a very great quality. So I will have the links to all of these items that I'm sharing today in the description box down below for you guys to check out. And without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that I knew I wanted to talk about is the coveted Ikea Hovit mirror. I have owned this in every single apartment and house that I have lived in for probably the past seven years. So each time I move, I do end up getting a new one just because I'm so scared that it's going to break. And since it is such a coveted Ikea item, you can literally put it on Facebook Marketplace or sell it wherever you want to. And people will literally pay retail for it because it does go out of stock quite a lot. But if you can definitely get your hands on it, go for it, get it. It is such a good quality mirror for the size and the price that you're paying. It is probably the best deal that you are gonna find, especially getting that good, heavy duty, sturdy mirror. You can use it as you see that I have it here. I just had two leaning side by side, or it actually does come with the brackets to mount it on the wall. I personally have never actually mounted it on the wall. I love the look of it leaning, but you can do that. And I really did enjoy that look that I had in my apartment where I had two side by side, it was just very luxury. I got the look for less because I had seen it all over Pinterest. People, you know, stacking and having two mirrors like leaning side by side, but when I clicked on the mirrors, they were super expensive. So to be able to get the Ikea Hovitz and kind of create that look for less is such a good option. So if you're looking for a great mirror for your home or apartment, I would highly recommend this Ikea Hovitz mirror. Next, I'm gonna talk about my TV stand. Now, my TV stand is from the Ikea Besta collection, but it is not their media console. It is actually marketed as a buffet. So it is actually meant to be used in like a dining area to hold your extra like dishes and whatnot. That is what it is for. I have always used it as a media console. It works amazing. If you do wanna use it as a media console and you want a place for your cords in the back, you can easily just make your own hole in the back of the boards and then you can feed your cords out that way. I personally have done that on the last one I had and then I got a new one for this space. I got it a little bit bigger and I never actually even drilled that hole and it worked out for me just fine. I do always get mine in the finish of glossy white. So the actual shell of the buffet or console as you would see in these clips is a matte white and then I get the doors a glossy white. So if you're looking to achieve the same look that I have, that is a specific combination that I purchased. You kind of have to scroll through on the website to get there because it is going to default you to just like a matte white completely all matte white console, but I think that adding the glossy doors does elevate it and take it to that more high-end luxury look. Media consoles of this size, to be honest, in places that I like to shop are around like $1,000 to $1,500. So to find something this nice that holds up for such a long time, I've been in this apartment for three years. There's nothing wrong with it. It has the soft closed drawers. Like it is just awesome. And it also serves as a great storage piece. So for a few hundred bucks, I think it is a great deal. Next, I'm going to be talking about a very viral Pinterest item that is just all over Pinterest. And these are these glass and metal shelving units that they have at Ikea. Now they come in a few different sizes. I believe they have four different types of these actual like bookshelf style ones. I have owned three out of the four different sizes. One is marketed as a media console. That one in particular I haven't owned, but I have owned the tall skinny one, as well as the double wide one, as well as the shorter one that is double wide. I personally loved all of them. Just over time, I ended up having to get like more fitness equipment to work out at home. So I didn't have room for it anymore, but if you have the space for it, I would highly recommend it. It's just such a nice looking 
bookshelf for such an affordable price. Also, it's very durable because it's made of metal and glass. You can style it in a ton of different ways. You can actually use it to store your books or you can use it for more decor. I've even seen people use these in their dining spaces to kind of hold extra wine glasses and things. The possibilities of this item are pretty much endless and I do think they look very, very luxury for a low price. Next is one of my favorite faux plants that is absolutely super affordable. This item is actually under $10. I get so many questions about which specific faux plant are you talking about in your videos or whenever I show it, you guys always want to know the exact name. So I will link it down below. This one is just like a faux hanging plant. So Ikea has a few different types of faux plants, but if I were to pick my favorite one and the one that I think looks the least cheap and looks very luxury on a budget, it would be that one. Again, I believe it's $7.99 here in the US. So really affordable. They're great. You can add them to your favorite vase or I like to put them on different shelves. I've styled them so many different ways. I've even done a fun DIY where I actually added like macrame cord to the outside of the pot just to make it look a little bit more chic. So you can do so much with it, but if you're looking for a very affordable luxury looking faux plant, definitely go with that one from Ikea. Moving on to the lamp section and the lighting. Ikea recently came out with this floor lamp. You guys saw it in two of my more recent videos in the background and you guys were asking so many questions about it. So I will put a picture of it on the screen here. I actually haven't even got a chance to put it in a haul yet because that's how new it is. But it's one of Ikea's newer items. When I originally saw another creator had it, I went looking for it and I literally could not find it anywhere because I was looking at West Elm, CB2. It's very mid-century modern vibe, so I knew it was probably from one of those places and actually it wasn't, it was just from Ikea. So this is a newer option that they have that I think just seriously will elevate your space so much. It's definitely a conversation piece and it looks like, again, like it's from a really expensive, more luxury store. Looks very high end, but it is just from Ikea. All right, next I can talk about the nightstand that this lamp is actually on and these are from Ikea. They are a newer purchase. I actually waited so long to get them that I had to get them in the black color, but at one point they did come in white. Whether you choose white or black, I think they both look very expensive, especially for the price point. They are under $100, I believe they are $79.99 in the United States. So a really good price point for a good quality nightstand. Again, you have them on the metal legs, so they're a lot more durable. They just look a little bit more chic put together. I love the fact that they have the drawer for storage and then the little peep hole where you can put like books or decor. Again, really elevating the look of the nightstand and at a very good price point because nightstands can get pretty expensive, especially if you're like me and you want one for each side of the bed you have to buy two of them. So finding a cheap option like this that looks really good is always great. The next thing I'm gonna share with you guys actually comes in at under $5 and that is these wine glasses that I'm gonna share with you guys here. I actually recently put them in my Ikea 10 under $10. So these are an item that they look super luxury. Again, these seriously look like they are from Crate and Barrel. When I asked my friend where she got them, when she told me that they were from Ikea, I was like, how are those from Ikea? And then when I looked up how affordable they were, they're such a great option because glass tends to break quite frequently. If you're like me, I'm really clumsy. When I wash dishes, I end up breaking dishes all the time. So getting something that is also a little bit more affordable, it's not those high end prices. So you have to worry about if you broke it, it's, a great option and these come in two different sizes so definitely a great option if you're looking to get the luxury look for less when it comes to your glassware the last thing when it comes to bedding ikea has some really great options but when it comes to them looking very luxury i always always end up going back to the ophelia duvet the texture on this the detailing on this is so good and for the price point i believe if you're getting the queen option it's like 20 or 30 dollars so cheap for a duvet set that also includes two of the sham covers as well again it's just such good detailing on it and it doesn't seem like it's from ikea at all it really seems like you like elevated your bedding on your bed again it's a really good quality like thick comfortable material to sleep on. So I always end up going back to it. I personally always end up spilling something on it or I mess it up from like a DIY project. So that's kind of why I end up like replacing it. And then, like I said, over time, the white isn't as bright just from washing it so much, but I definitely love it. Definitely would recommend checking it out if you're in the market for some new bedding, affordable white bedding that is comfortable is always great to find because you don't really want to spend a ton of money 
on white bedding all the time because it does tend to get messed up. So those were all of my Ikea recommendations that are super cheap but will make your home look really expensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite Ikea item. I would love to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!